everyone, my name is Brittany. Welcome to Total Body. I'm gonna be taking you through a 45 minute class today. So let's get started. What you're gonna need here today is I have a floor mat. So if you wanna just use some carpet, whatever you've got at home. Um, and I also have some dumbbells. So if you don't have any dumbbells, don't worry about it. Um, you can use soup cans, water bottles. Just take it as you want it. It's your workout, so get creative. So remember that throughout the whole workout, it's yours. If you want to take a break, and I'm not taking a break, that's up to you. If you want to take a modification, just remember, it's your workout, okay? So let's get started with the warm-up. I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer, and the first thing we're gonna be doing is some back shoulder rolls. So go ahead and stand, relax, and roll your shoulders to the back. We're gonna get warmed up. Our whole body is ready to move in this total body workout today. And when you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and switch those shoulder rolls over to the front. We're gonna be here for about another 10 seconds before we take it into another warm up stretch. All right, the next thing we're gonna be doing is some front arm circles. So go ahead and start with some little circles. and you're just gonna gradually make them bigger and bigger, stretching out those rotator cuffs. And when you're ready, go ahead and switch those arm circles backwards. If you wanna add in a little step touch with your feet, get that body moving. We're here for about another five seconds. And the next thing we'll be doing are some alternating knee hugs. So I want you to stand still and hold one knee up to your chest and pull and switch. We got 20 seconds here, working on that balance. All right, the next thing we're gonna be doing are some side lunges. So go ahead and step one leg out to the side and lunge it out and switch. Bring it to standing and switch. We got 15 seconds here stretching out those legs. Remembering to breathe, warming up that body. All right, the next exercise we've got are some reverse lunges with a torso twist. So you're gonna step it back, bring that back knee towards the ground, and twist your torso over that front leg, and switch. So we're stretching our back out, our legs. Remember to keep that weight in the front heel. All right, we're here for three more seconds and then get ready for the inchworm. So I want you to walk it out to your standard plank position, weight in your hands, um, shoulders over your hands, and then walk it back to your toes. You'll feel a stretch in the back of your hamstrings as you prepare for the workout. 10 more seconds. All right, got that last inchworm in. All right, great job guys. I hope you're all ready for this workout. What we're gonna be starting with is some cardio. So we'll have a two minute cardio portion. It's gonna be a hit style. So we're gonna have 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off. So the two exercises are gonna be a burpee. So I want you to put your hands to the ground, jump your feet towards the back of the mat, Jump them back in and to standing. So that's your burpee. I'll show you once more. All right, and then that second exercise that we're gonna be doing is a mountain climber. So bring your hands to the front of the mat, 
shoulders over your palms, weight in those palms, and you're gonna start running. Bringing your knees to the opposite elbow. All right, get ready. I'm gonna set that timer. Like I said, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, two times through. Okay, everyone, take a deep breath. We're starting in three, two, one with those burpees. 20 seconds here. Now, if you wanted to take it up a notch, you could add in a push-up, bring it back. You could jump to the ceiling at the end, or you could do a push-up with your knees. All right, great job. Take it to a step touch. We got a seven second rest here. And we're gonna go into those mountain climbers for 20 seconds. It's gonna go quick, all right. 20 seconds of mountain climbers. We got 10 more seconds here. Really speed them up. You wanna get that heart rate up. For five, four, three, two, and rest. Take it to a step touch, get some water. We got a short break here, only five more seconds, and we're right back into those burpees. All right, burpee it out. Add in that push-up, whatever modification works for you. If you just wanna step it out, that's okay. For five. All right. Step and touch. We got eight more seconds of this rest before our last set of mountain climbers. All right, run it out. We got 15 more seconds here and our first cardio portion will be complete. Four, three, two, and one. Great job, everyone. Go ahead, get some water. I hope your heart rates are up, because mine definitely is. Okay, the next thing we'll be doing is an arm circuit. So it's gonna in include three exercises. So go ahead and grab those dumbbells or whatever it is that you got creative with, soup cans, water bottles. And we're gonna be doing some bicep curls. So go ahead and hold those weights, palms up toward the ceiling, and curl them up to your shoulders. Got your standard bicep curl. That second exercise we'll be doing is a tricep kickback. So go ahead and stand with your feet slightly apart, about shoulder width, weight in your heels, and you're gonna squat down a bit, and you're going to kick those weights to the back of the room, or straight behind you. And you're gonna squeeze at the top, really feeling it in your triceps. Then, the third exercise we'll be doing are some lateral raises. So you're just gonna hold those weights in your hands, your palms are gonna face the ground this time, and you're just gonna draw the weights up toward the ceiling. Getting that lat work in. Okay, so get ready. I'm gonna start the timer in three, two, and one. We got 30 seconds here of those bicep curls. When you do these, try to hold your, your elbows out a bit. You don't wanna be squeezing your torso with your elbows. Squeeze at the top, really feeling that in your biceps. We got eight more seconds here. And the next thing I want you to do is you're gonna hold one arm stationary and you're gonna curl the other arm. Go ahead, one arm stays and the other is curling. We have 23 more seconds here. For 15 more, and what we're gonna do is next is we're gonna switch it up. So whatever arm was curling is gonna be stationary and whatever arm was stationary will be curling. Go ahead, get that bicep work for three, two, 
and switch it out. 30 seconds here before we go into those tricep kickbacks. And it's gonna be the same format we just did. Both arms, one arm hold, one arm kickback, and switch. We got 10 more seconds of these bicep curls. You got this. I know your arms are burning because mine are, definitely are. For five, three, two, and switch it out. We actually got about a 15 minute, I mean 15 second rest here. So go ahead, shake those arms out and we'll get right into those double arm tricep kickbacks. Go ahead and three, two, and tricep kickback. Make sure you're really squeezing those weights at the top. Weight in those heels, feet shoulder width apart. I know you all look good, great form. For 15 more seconds, and we'll have one arm stationary kick back, and we'll be working the other arm out. We're gonna go ahead in five, three, two. All right, hold that one arm, kick the other one back. You knew it was coming. We got 20 more seconds here. Really feeling that burn in your triceps. Ten more seconds before we switch it out. And three, two, and one. All right, switch it out. Whichever arm was kicking is stationary. You got this for 20 more seconds. Hold it. I know it's burning. Remember to breathe. It's very important. It's easy to forget when we're doing some hard work. In five, three, two, and rest. All right. The next thing we're going to be doing is that lateral raise. So go ahead. You're going to be here and seven seconds after your rest. Get that last breath in. We got a double arm lateral raise. We're here for 30 seconds, everyone. Working those deltoid muscles. You got this. Shoulders are burning. In 10 seconds, you're gonna hold one arm up and raise the other arm. All right, go ahead, hold that one arm. Raise the other. You got this, it's burning. For 20 more seconds. Hold it up. If your arms are really starting to burn, maybe add in a step touch with your feet. Take your mind off of that burn. For nine more seconds. In three, two, all right, switch it out. We got 30 seconds here. You can do it, but if you need to shake out your arms, that is okay. This is your workout. For 15 more seconds, you can do anything for 10. Arms are burning. And three, two, and one. All right, drop those weights. I'm sure your shoulders are hurting. And shake it out. Go ahead, get some water. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and lay down on the mat. We've got some core work coming up. So I'll go ahead and demo the core exercises that we'll be doing. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is a toe reach. So if you wanna add in that dumbbell, that's up to you. You're gonna lay down on your back and reach that dumbbell up for your toes. You don't have to touch all the way, but as close as you can. Or just drop that dumbbell, you don't need to use it. The next thing we're gonna be doing is getting back into that plank position. So go ahead and get into that plank, shoulders over your palms. 
and bring it to your elbows. And what you're gonna do is a plank hip dip. So go ahead and bring one side of your hips down to the floor, back to center, and switch. So this is really gonna work those obliques. Now, the last exercise we'll be doing are some laying down scissor kicks. So we're gonna get those lower abs now. So go ahead, lay down flat on your back, and you're gonna switch one leg over the other. You can bring your head up for a little bit of a challenge, or lay down flat. So, we've got 45 seconds on, and 15 seconds of rest between. We'll go through it twice. I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer. Take a breath, prepare for those laying down toe reaches. In three, two, and one. Oops, sorry, technical difficulty. All right, way to toe reach, go. Don't forget, you can totally toss out that weight and just go body weight on this exercise if you wanted. I'll switch to the side so you can get a side view. Keep it up. Really reach into the ceiling. Get those toes. We got 15 here. For 10. Keep it up. And done. Go ahead and rest. We got those plank hip dips. You got eight seconds of rest here. Go ahead and get ready, get into that plank position and start dipping those hips. One side hits the floor, back to center, and we switch. Working those obliques. We got 15 down, 30 to go, keep it up. Core is really gonna be burning through this. So keep it up. For 15 more seconds. In five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. And we're gonna take it into those scissor kicks. You got five more seconds to rest here. Take a deep breath. Go ahead, lay it out. And kick those legs one over the other. You can put your hands under your bottom for some extra support. Make it a little less intense. Or maybe you wanna take it up a notch. Put those arms up. Head stays lifted. One leg over the other. Whatever you choose to do, it's your workout. We got 15 here, keep it up. Ten seconds, we'll rest, and then we're gonna do it all again, so get ready. All right, go ahead and rest. We got 15 seconds here, and we're gonna take it back into that weighted toe reach. You need a sip of water. Get it real quick, we got five seconds. All right, way to tell reach, go for it. 45 seconds here. If you wanna to toss out that weight, that is totally up to you. Keep reaching for those toes though. Don't stop, I know it burns. Especially with core exercises, it can sometimes be hard to remember to breathe. So with each exercise, make sure you're taking a deep breath. You got this. 10 more seconds, keep it up. In three, two, and rest. All right, what we got next? You know, plank hip dips. 10 seconds, get some last breaths in. These will be our last plank hip dips of the day. 
Go for it, get into position and dip those hips. Keep your weight right above those elbows. You got this. We got 30 seconds here. You got this. For eight, seven, three, two, and rest. We've got one more exercise of this circuit. It's those leg scissors. One last time, you got this. In three, two, and one. 45 seconds here. Keep kicking. Less than 30 to go. Those lower abs are burning. For 15, one leg over the other. Don't stop, you got this. 10. In three, two, one. Rest. All right, you may have thought we're done with core, but we're not. We've got some planks coming up. So we're gonna start with that side plank. You're just gonna have your weight in that elbow, one foot stacked on top of the other, up, other arm goes up to the ceiling, and we're gonna hold here. We're gonna do a minute. And then we'll take it into that center plank, and then the other side. So we've got one minute of each plank. Go ahead and start with that side plank now. An option here, if you want to take it, you can go ahead and bend that bottom leg for a little more stability and just hold here. You got 45 seconds to go. We're really feeling this in our obliques. obliques. You got this. We're holding for a little more than 30 seconds still. You can do this. Hold it out. My body's shaking. In 10 seconds, we're gonna go right into that center plank. We've got no rest. Get ready in three, two, and center plank. So go ahead and keep that weight right over those elbows. Squeeze that core. Draw your belly button up towards your spine. You don't want any sagging or like that. We got 40 seconds here. Stay strong. Squeeze that bottom. For 25 more seconds. I know your core is burning, because mine is. A little over 10 seconds, you got this. In five, four, three, two, and one. Switch it out. Whatever side you didn't do on that last side plank, go for it. Don't forget your option here if you want to take it to bend that bottom leg for some stability and keep that, long, that top leg straight out. We got 40 seconds to go here. Keeping everything tight, squeezing your core, squeezing your bottom, you got this. For 30 more seconds. Hold strong, hold steady. 
Reach for the ceiling. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, three, two, and rest. Great job. I hope your core is burning. Get some water. So your heart rate may have fallen a bit from laying down on the ground, but that's okay, because we've got another cardio circuit, just like that first one. It's gonna be about two minutes long, but this time, those exercises are gonna be a skater and a jump rope, but it's gonna follow that same format that we did in the first cardio. So it was 20 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest, twice through, around two minutes total. Go ahead and take a couple more steps, a couple more breaths, and get ready for that cardio. Let me go ahead and get the timer ready. So I'll just go ahead and demo those exercises before we get started. So that skater, you wanna get as much surface area as possible. You're gonna jump to one side, bringing that back leg behind and touching the floor. And then you're gonna jump to the other side and switch. So this is a great cardio move to really get that heart rate back up. We'll be there for 20 seconds. And then the other exercise, if you have a jump rope for this, that's great, go ahead and get it. If not, I'm just gonna do some um, jump, -less, jump rope list jump ropes. So I'm just gonna pretend I have one. And we'll be there 20 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest. Go ahead and get ready for those speed skaters in three, two, and go for it, speed skaters. Jump to one side touch and switch and switch if you want to take it up a notch this is an ex a great exercise to get some balance in so when you jump to that one side try not to touch that back leg to the floor or you can go ahead and touch it we got eight more seconds here and we're gonna rest take those 10 seconds gonna go by real quick I'll give you a little more than 10 seconds. Get some water. We got some jump ropes, go for it. Keep jumping, jump it out. For seven more seconds. In three, two, and rest. You got 10 seconds here. Keep that heart rate up. We're gonna be going into those speed skaters. Once again, in three, two, and speed skaters. We got 15 more seconds here on this cardio blowout. Keep it up for five, two, and one, all right. Take a quick breath, because you know we've got jump ropes coming up in five. All right, jump it out. You got 20 seconds here. 10 more, keep jumping, get that heart rate up. Three, two, and one, great job. Step it out, get some water. And prepare for some leg work. So the leg exercises that we're gonna be doing, we've got three, so, well two. So we're gonna start with an air squat. You're gonna have the weight in those heels, Sit back like you're sitting into a chair. And that's the first exercise. The second exercise, we've already done a little in the warm-up, so you should be familiar. You're gonna step one leg back for a reverse lunge. Get that weight in your front heel, back knee stays right above the floor, and then whatever leg, you're gonna do the opposite. So those are the three exercises. We're gonna have 
30 seconds on, 10 seconds, I'll show you a little addition that we're gonna do, and then we'll have 20 seconds of rest before we go into that lunge for 30 seconds. We'll add the little addition for 10 seconds, rest, and switch. So go ahead and get ready, I'll start the timer. We're gonna go through this circuit twice. Really get those legs burning. Take a deep breath. We're going right for those squats. We got 30 seconds here. Squat it out. Sit back into the chair. Weight in those heels. You got this. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze your bottom. For 15 more seconds. So what we're gonna do in 10 seconds, we're gonna add a squat jump. So our legs will really be burning. We're gonna do that for 10 seconds and go. Jump it out, squat to a jump for three, two, and one. All right, so we got 20 seconds of rest here before we take it into that reverse lunge on one leg. So take a deep breath, you got this. We got eight seconds of rest here until we lunge it out. Go ahead, prepare for that reverse lunge. So you want that weight in your heel. You don't want your front knee to pass your front toe too much. And you want that back knee hovering right above the ground. We got 10 more seconds here. And what we're gonna add for 10 seconds, will be just a tiny pulsing lunge. It'll really get your legs burning. Go ahead, take it back and pulse it out. You got this for seven more seconds. And then we're gonna rest and we'll switch legs. You got this. All right, great job, rest. You got 20 seconds here. Get some water if you need it. So whatever leg you didn't do, now it's time. Step it back. Keep on stepping. You got 30 seconds here until we pulse it out on this leg. You got this. For eight more seconds, keep those legs tight. And pulse it out, you got this. For five more seconds, and then we're gonna do it all again, right from the top from those squats. Rest, you got 18 seconds here, right back into those air squats, 10 seconds of jump squats, rest. Take a deep breath, you know what you're getting into. For five seconds, and three, two, and air squat. Squeeze at the top, sit it back. You got this. 20 more seconds. Really get that glute work. Quads. 10 more seconds until we add in that jump for 10. And three, two, and jump it out. For five. And rest. All right, next up we've got lunges. You got this. Take a deep breath. You've got 10 more seconds of rest until we go into the reverse lunge. And five. Prepare. And go, reverse lunge, step it back, hovering that back knee right over the ground for 20 seconds. Glutes are burning. In five seconds, we're gonna stay here and pulse it out. 
All right, meet me at the pulse. You got this. For three, two, and rest. Great job. I know your legs are burning. We've just got the other leg to go for those lunges. Keep it up. Take a last breath. Get ready for that other leg for those reverse lunges and meet me there. Step it back, meet your feet together. Back knee hovering over the floor. Weight in that front heel. Keep it up. Great job. I know your form's looking good. For 10 more seconds. Are you having fun yet? In three, two, and one. Pulse it out. Last one of the day for eight. Okay, great job. That leg circuit is over. Go ahead and get some water. So we did some upper body work already, but now we're gonna work on some chest and some back. So we've got two exercises. We're gonna go 30 seconds on, 15 seconds of rest. And th that's gonna be your standard push-up. We're gonna get that chest work in. So in that plank position, reach down for the floor and push it up. You got your standard push-up. The next thing we're doing is a Superman. We're gonna get that back work. So lay down flat on the ground, reach those feet and your heels up to the ceiling and squeeze. All right, go ahead and meet me when you are ready. Gonna exit this and start that last upper body cardio, sorry, or upper body circuit. So go ahead and meet me for 30 seconds of push-ups and go for it option here to take it down to your knees lower that intensity a bit this is your workout we got 15 seconds here want to take up that intensity go for that push-up and jump and jump whatever you want to do we got five more seconds all right go ahead and rest for 15 before we go into those supermans and get that back work. Take a deep breath. We're gonna go in five. And go for it, supermans. So bring it up, squeeze at the top, and lay down. Really squeeze that bottom, your back. You should really feel this in the whole back of your body, even the back of your legs. You got this. 15 seconds to go here before we rest again and then take it right back into those push-ups. All right, go ahead and rest. Prepare for those push-ups. Five seconds of left, rest of left, left of rest. <laughs> All right, 30 seconds. Push-ups, meet me there for 25. Hover right over the ground with your chest and then squeeze it back and a tight plank. You want that weight right over the palms. Shoulders over your palms for five more seconds. Push it down and squeeze at the top and we're taking a rest. 15 seconds, and we got the Superman again. You got this. We're almost at the end of this workout. You've made it this far. Keep it up. In three, two, and Superman. Go for it. Lay down, squeeze at the top, and squeeze. You got this.
for nine, eight, all right, and rest. Go ahead, shake it out. Great job, everyone. All right, the last thing we've got here is a cool down. So go ahead, actually you could stay on the ground from those back and chest, and we're gonna go into a child's pose. So go ahead and meet me in child's pose. Take a deep breath. Bring your weight back right over your feet, stretching those shoulders out. All right, when you're ready, just take a deep breath and meet me in a seal stretch. So, weight over those palms, arch your back, look to the ceiling, take a deep breath, bring that heart rate back down after all that hard work. I hope you're feeling good. Look to the ceiling, breathe it out. Get one last deep breath in and just take it over to one side. Feel that stretch in the side of your torso. Great job today, everyone. All right, go ahead and roll over to that other side. Stretch it out. Deep breath in, bringing our heart rates back down. Thanking our body for all of the hard work that we did today. All right. The next thing we're gonna be doing is a downward dog. So just turn over, weight in those toes and stretch back. You'll feel this in your hamstrings. Really push back. And then you can go ahead and just bend one leg so that the straightened leg, you feel a little extra stretch in. And switch. And switch. We did a lot of leg work today, so really make sure you're feeling this in your hamstrings. It's really important to stretch. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna roll those shoulders back, just like we did in that warm up, And then bring it forward. So thank yourself for signing on to this class today. If you notice in the description of this class, they have a little survey. Go ahead and bring one leg up towards your bottom. So if you could fill out that survey, it'd be really great. Give any feedback that you really loved, maybe really didn't like, and it'll really help us instructors out here. Go ahead and hold it here. If you need to step it down, maybe you don't have the best balance, just bring it right back up. Hold it there, feeling this in your quad, and switch. My balance is not the best. All right, now just go ahead and lunge it out to one side and switch to the other and switch. Bring it to the standing, cross your arms, one arm over the other, stretching out that chest, stretching out that back. And then take a deep breath in, reach towards the ceiling, and then go ahead, let it all out. I hope you all had fun today. I had a great time. Thank you so much for signing on, and I will see you next week.